All right, here's my 2018 vintage R2-D2. He's a Mr. Badly Droid build. He's got a Mark Duino in his head and in his body. I've uh, customized the head so he can wave hello, because everybody waves at R2-D2. And I also did the body, which is a, uh, a custom uh, Mark Duino firmware. So he's got uh, tools that are um, a rebuild of the Master Marquino R2, hush. And right now I've got a dead servo. So these doors will also, uh, actually that one's, that one doesn't want to open because the servo's strong enough to not let it open. But anyway, these doors open too. Okay, under the hood we have an Arduino Mega 2560 with a USB host shield and a class one Bluetooth dongle, which gives me a hundred meters range. Sabertooth and a uh, siren, Sabertooth uh, times, uh, two times 32 and a siren 10A. So this little thing here is a uh, step down buck converter to take the 12 volts and step it down to five for the components that need five. Of course, you get the MP3 trigger, and there's the body master Mark Duino with the custom firmware. Just a, an amplifier, and then a fuse block. I've got a 24 volt and a 12 volt system. The theory is that if I hit all the juice and suck all the amps out of the, uh, available amps out of the battery, it can't harm the control system so my control system doesn't brown out and reboot under heavy strains in any, any circumstances. Okay, inside the dome we have uh, two more Mark Duinos. Right here is the uh, master Mark Duino and then that's Daisy chained over to a uh, slave Mark Duino. The boards are uh, basically the same but they have different firmware in them. You can see some other uh, control stuff in here uh, that's left over from R2 Touch. That's where his um, Wi-Fi antenna would go right here. But I'm not using that for control, but it's great for when you're setting up the dome. You can uh, use the, the app to move all the panels and do all the different movements that uh, R2 does, including it controls all the lights. So all of the uh, LED panels they're running a TC system, but then Mark Duino controls TC for you so you can get a nice uh, light display that's coordinated with all of your sounds and panel motions. Okay, some of the cool features of the uh, Mark Duino system, you can have basically a jukebox mode where you can uh, play. <laughs> Well, you get the idea. Of course, you have to have this and the Star Wars theme. And this kind of highlights the LEDs. I'm using two controllers. Uh, PlayStation controllers and you can use uh, one to control the dome and one to control the body and they're very discreet so you can hide them behind you when you're uh, not uh, when you're hiding in a crowd. General Kenobi, years ago you served my father in the Clone War. One of the cool things about Mark Duino is you can run more than one thing at a time as long as they don't interfere with each other. Like I can start his head panels moving back and forth and at the same time I can independently operate his uh, utility arms freely and they don't, uh, since they don't overlap, they're happy working together and not running over each other. It just so happened that head stopped moving right then, so but I could start running again. 
and start music. So that's the power of a Marduino system is that it uh, has a lot of real-time controls that just aren't available when you have a, a Maestro sequence or a PCA 9685, at least the way I programmed it. Okay, to do all the fancy uh, control stuff for R2-D2, you actually have to program the sequences in your Eclipse IDE. So you import um, the files from uh, Curious Mark, then you go and edit the uh, sequences and make your own sequences. Like here, I've got a utility arms open for my body Marduino. And then to program, you need to use an FTDI controller that uh, hooks into uh, USB on one side and then plugs into the pins on the Marduino to program it. So it's not just uh, plug a USB cable into the Arduino, you have to have this special programmer. They're about $18. Um, but that's going to be something required if you want to make your own sequences. My code is on GitHub, and I'll post a link.